10 learners stand randomly in a line, one behind the other. I used to do that with my friends as well. Like we'd meet up in the morning and just be like, cool, bro, let's do some probability practice. And then we would all just stand behind each other um, while waiting for the school bell to ring. Okay, I'm joking, guys. Who does that? Um, and then it says, in how many different ways can the 10 learners stand in a line? Who cares? But let's solve it anyways. So we've got 10 people. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And now, I mean, the answer is just going to be 10 factorial. But let me explain. So let's say you are someone standing there and you need to arrange these 10 people in a line. So you're looking at these 10 people. They're looking at you. For the first position, how many different people could you choose? Well, like from how many people can you choose? You can choose any one of the 10 people. Now, all of a sudden, there's only nine people looking at you. Then there's only eight. Then there's seven. Then there's six. You understand, right? We're going to go all the way down to one. And so if we say 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, well, that is the same as just saying 10 factorial. And so 10 factorial is... Oh, come on, calculator. Oh, wrong button, Kev. <laughs> uh, 3,628,800. 3,628,800. Okay. Now, calculate the probability that there will be five learners between the two... Well, what? Calculate the probability that there will be five learners between the two... What the heck? Calculate the probability that there will be five learners between the two youngest learners in the line. I, I don't even understand. Okay, so it's quite a weird one. Um, we actually have to go and solve this one manually. There's no like nice, quick, easy way we can do this one. So I'm going to show you some scenarios. So let's say we've got 10 people, okay? There's 10 people. Um, let's call them A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. And let's say two of them are the youngest. So let's say C is the youngest and H is the second youngest, okay? So they're the two youngest people. So they would like five learners to be in between them. So for example, we could put C first. So this is one scenario. We put C first, then we need any five people in between them. So maybe D, E, um, I, J, um, and then B. So you see how there's five people in between them? Okay. Then H would have to come next because they want exactly five people in between them. And then we still have um, we still have A available, and have we used B, yes, C, D, E, um, and F. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Who else? G. That's one scenario. The second scenario is that, well, it could have been C or H. Okay, it doesn't really matter. You could have put C or H um, in this place. The next one is that we put. Um, we start off with someone random like E, and then we can put C or H in the next position, okay? And then you would need another like five people between them, B, um, A, G, and then it would have to be H. But once again, it could be C or H, doesn't matter who's first. And then what haven't we used? Um, A, B, C, and D, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, the next scenario is that we put them in the third position. So we start off with like A, and then we've got E. Don't worry, there's only four scenarios, you'll see now. Um, and then we put C, or we could put H, whichever. Let's actually show it like this. You could put C or H. You could put C or H, and then this could be H or C, and this could be H or C. This could be C or H. Then there has to be five positions between them. So maybe we could go B, um, F, G, um, I, D, and then it would have to be C or H again. So that there's always five people in between. How many have we used? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've got space for one more. Um, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, wait, have we used everyone? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Who haven't we used, bro? Oh, J. There we go. And then the last scenario is that, um, 
me do the fourth one up here, is that we put COH in the fourth position. So let's maybe start with E, then A, um, D, and then maybe I, and then we put COH in the fourth position. Now there has to be five people in between them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sorry, fourth position is. So then we put them in the fourth position, like over there, and then there would have to be five people in between them. So maybe J, I, um, B, F, G, and then H or C would have to go at the end. We couldn't go for a fifth scenario where you make the first person sit in position five because then there wouldn't be enough space to have five people in between them. Okay, so now, how are we gonna do this? Well, for this first scenario, um, for this first position, how many people can you choose? You can choose from two different people. So that's gonna be equal to two, multiply. Now for this position, you could have chosen any of the other eight boys. So that'll be eight. For this position, you could have chosen any of the remaining seven boys. For this one, you could have chosen any of the six remaining boys, five, then four, and then for here, you only had one more person to choose. Because if you chose H, then you only have C left over. So you'd only have one there. And then here you still have three people left. So you could say three times two times one. For this um, second scenario, for this first position here, you could have chosen any eight of the eight boys. You can't choose the two um, who are the youngest. For this position, you could have chosen any of the two youngest. So you'd say two. For this position, it would be seven then six, then five, then four, then three. And then for this one, you would only have one person to choose from because you've already chosen one of the youngest boys. And then you would have two and one for these two parts. And then for this one over here, um, for this position, you had eight options. For this position, you had seven. For this position, you only have two people, one of the two youngest. And then here you have six, then five, then four, then three, then two, and then here you only have one, and then here there's only one more person left. And then for this one up here, um, for this first position, you could have chosen any of the eight boys. Remember when I say eight, I'm saying eight besides, because there's 10 boys all together, but you can't choose the two youngest, okay? And then for this position, there would have been seven. For this position, there would have been six. For here, you could have chosen any of the two youngest, and then five, then four, then three, then two, then one, and then for here you could have only chosen one. So you would have to now go work out each of those. So if you work out this one, you should end up with 80,640. If you had to go work out this one, you would get also 80,640. If you work out this bottom one, also 80,640. And then if you work out this one, you get the same 80,640. So if you get four multiplied by 80,640, that gives us 322,560 different ways. But the question said, calculate the probability. So probability is always gonna be your 322560 divided by the total number of ways that the boys could sit together, which is what we worked out in the first question, which is 3628800. And that'll give us four out of 45.